How's it going, people? I haven't been on for a while. Um, so this will be my first video in a minute. Uh, so I went and had my surgery finally. I'm sure everybody. button above it there 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 there's a place like six and a half inch across the bottom of the belly uh, here removed a bit of my colon uh, all that good stuff but here I am running around I got out of the hospital today. I got home at 12.30. <coughs> I had surgery. At, well, I got to the hospital Monday morning, August 16th, 2021, at 5.30 a.m. They started my surgery for the intestines at 9 a.m. I was out by 1 p.m. on the 16th. Now... I don't know, people don't really care one way or the other, I guess, but I woke up, took a couple little tiny dabs because I didn't want to cough because coughing hurt like a bitch. And I was like, well, more than that. Like that, and then I would just hold it in and blow it out under my covers like, <laughs> but that. Helped me only have to get two morphine shots in the two nights I was there. I had one each night in the middle of the night because I rolled over in my sleep. And uh, when I pushed off with my right foot to roll over, they had cut through all my stomach muscles. So, woke me up quick like. So, that is how I've been dealing with my pain and getting through this whole surgery stuff I've just been taking baby dabs since I've gotten home uh, you know I, I got up and started walking around the same day I had my first bowel movement like four and a half af hours after I got my room so my surgery got out at like one o'clock I had my first bowel movement like eight hours later at like nine o'clock which is pretty unusual they said but you know to each their own, man. My body's a healer and a worker. That's what she does. Her body just is down about the healing process. So I got a little pain in the lower right quadrant. You know, that's mostly muscle pain, not intestinal pain. I've been using the bathroom regularly. So they let me out, literally. I was out at 12 o'clock today, out of the hospital, so that's 48 plus 6. So, what, 54 hours? It's not bad, dude, to get out of the hospital on a fucking intestinal surgery. And I took baby dabs the whole time I was there. Let me grab that dab ring again. Okay. This is the pen I used the whole time I was there, and it was brand new. Hold on one more second. Let me. Before I left to the hospital, I went by the shop and stocked the fuck up. I threw the other pack away, but the cartridge is in the other room so this one here is sour diesel which means the other cartridge I got in here uh, oh, where did I put it oh there it is on the table banana kush which this really tastes delicious but uh these are the two that I've pretty much been smoking on this one since I got home today I put a pretty good dent on it and this is the one I smoked for two days in the hospital you can see the difference I'm a fucking pothead 
This is like over half a gram of wax since I got home at 12.30, 12.45. It's 10.24 right now. So like eight hours off the pin. And this is just from while I was gone. I think I've hit this twice since I've been home, so it hasn't really burnt anything more. But this... So, there's a little container I got since I've been home. I've smoked that like half gram of wax and three joints, four joints, because I had two roaches in here, so four joints. <laughs> I'm fuck a pothead, dude. So what's up? But, you know, what is also happening? I'm on a normal diet. I can eat whatever the fuck I want again. You know, I'm going to give peanuts a couple more weeks. I ain't fucking with those. Until, you know, completely healed up. Give it like a month or two. You know, but, uh, I can pretty much eat whatever I want. I had fucking pasta for dinner tonight. With breadsticks. You know. <coughs> I haven't been out of surgery a full three days. It was literally the first night I had sherbet and juice. For dinner after surgery the second morning i had eggs or the first morning the following morning they gave me eggs for breakfast with sausage patties that shit was fire when you hadn't eaten for four days because on the 12th i started fasting and only on a clear liquid diet to clean out my system so and i had to drink these uh magnesium citrus or citrate however you pronounce that word uh it's like clear liquid. It's a little clear see-through bottle like this big. It costs you like $1.50 at uh, any of the freaking stores that sell that kind of stuff. Like CVS or Rite Aid or whatever the fuck they are. You know. Well, anyway. Not, not, no, I'm not a stoner. I fucking just forgot what I was talking about. But nope, not a stoner at all. Oh, this is where we're going right now. Uh, acacia berry gelato. I'll go ahead and pop this out. These are my favorite cartridges. This company here, uh, it doesn't have a company name on it. I'm gonna find out who they are. But these cartridges are badass. You just unscrew the top, you can refill them. They're glass. They're not junk. I have a bunch of wax at home that I can refill these with. So shit. Let's check out this sherbet. There's acacia berry gelato. <coughs> like I said, the coffee hurts like a motherfucker. <laughs> But almost all the swelling's gone. So, soon enough, I'll actually be able to lose weight instead of gaining weight all the fucking time. I mean, even when I cut my diet down to one meal a day, I was still putting weight on. Freaking insane, man. I like, it's pretty good taste, but I'm gonna finish that other cartridge up first. Mm. Well, it does have the company name. Further logged, I don't know if you can read it. Mm. Trippy. It's hidden in the box. I can't read it looking at it like this. But anyway, they both say the same thing. 
Let's see, what was this other strain? Jelly Gelato was this one. This one here I've been saving because it's one of my homies' favorite flavors. So when he gets back, I smoke it with him. He's at work right now out of town. So, fucking Sour D is a good strain too. But when I found it, I was like, well, fuck, the homie really likes this. We'll fucking hit it together. Have a fat sesh one day while he's off. So. That's what I'm up to. I'm recuperating from stomach surgery. Today is uh, Wednesday, the 18th of August, 2021, at 10:30, and I'm out.